Postural changes have varying effects on lumbar disc pressure at various positions. Disc pressure and stress on the lumbar spine is at its lowest when you are lying flat on your back in the supine position. These stresses slightly increase as you move from the supine position to lying on your side. 100 kilograms of pressure is measured on the disc of the lumbar spine when you are standing in the upright position. When leaning forward from the standing position, the pressure increases to 150 kilograms. Holding a load and leaning forward in the standing position causes this pressure to further rise to 220 kilograms. A non-load bearing position of sitting upright will place 140 kilograms of pressure on the lumbar discs. Leaning forward from this position then raises the pressure to 185 kilograms. And finally, the highest pressure that is placed on the disc of the lumbar spine occurs when you are in the seated position and leaning forward while bearing weight. The idea is to hold this weight closer to the body to reduce the pressure being placed on the discs. Intradiscal pressures associated with the seated positions and postural changes have proven to be greater in comparison to the same position performed while standing. Factors which may contribute to pain or degeneration within the lumbar spine include lack of fitness, heavy lifting, operating motor vehicles such as driving a semi-truck, prolonged sitting, operating vibrating tools, and a history of cigarette smoking, which is known to cause disc degeneration. Job dissatisfaction or lack of interest in your profession are psychological factors which also may play a role in the development of lower back problems. The straight leg raise test or tension sign indicates possible disc herniation. In classic sciatica, a herniated disc is indicated to be on the opposite side of the leg which is raised. Range of motion tests involving flexion of the spine will also produce pain in patients who have disc-related disorders. Patients with spinal stenosis or spondylolisthesis will also demonstrate pain during extension of the lower back. The foraminal area of the spine decreases by 20% during extension. This area increases by 12% during flexion of the spine. Because of the pain experienced with extension of the spine, people suffering from spinal stenosis get relief from leaning forward. The Faber test is helpful in determining the presence of SI joint problems. The purpose of this test is to stretch the SI joint in order to reproduce pain. Diagnostic injection of the SI joint is the only means to confirm diagnosis.